All right, thought we'd do a quick video on using your TI Inspire CAS CX. You guys got to get really, really good with this thing. There are lots of little things that will make the much more difficult stuff possible. So let's make sure that we know how to make like a box and whiskers plot. Let's make sure that we know how to enter data. And let's <clears throat> just kind of find our way around this calculator a little bit today. Just take five minutes to take a look at this. So let's pop over to our calculator. So here's our calculator. Um, how did I get there from my menu? This is what I did. Let me show you where I am. I went to, I didn't go to control menu. I just went to menu. So I just went to this menu. I went to menu here, right? It took me to, actually, I went here, page down to here. It took me to here. And I just want to get to spreadsheets, lists and spreadsheet. So here's that. Here's a, a couple words of warning. One. You're going to be very tempted to put something in this box. This is an operator box, and this thing has tons of functionality. It can do a lot of stuff. It can find the medium. It can sort stuff. It can do all kinds of cool crap. But be careful that you put your label here. And I already started with some data, and it was on some, on some calcium. So this is not what I wanted. Let me just do this over. Right? Let's, uh, let me do this data over. And let's pretend that the data this is calcium data but let's pretend that it's barium data so here's some barium data that we're pretending here so there's our barium data and then I'm going to enter some values so this is all I did I went here and I just started using the this button here right I'm going to delete this these values out of here because these are not the values that I wanted to make sure that they're blank and that you're in a clean table so here and then I'm just going to take some values and I'm just going to drop them in and the values are like 452. I'm not going to do all these because I feel like it's a waste of your time, but I'm just going to show you how I'm just dropping them in after I get the value and I just cursor down 302, cursor down 300, 291, 272. I know I'm boring you to death. I'm trying to get through this 258 because I just want it to be enough data that it has some meaning. 217, 204, all right, I promise I'm almost on 179, I'm just going to drop in, whoa, see what I did here, I'm glad I did this now, go here, look, you should be paying attention in A9, which is, this is column A, row 9, it shows this, I know damn well that's not what I wanted in there, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to fix that, so it does give you an opportunity to take a look at what you're doing, 179, go back down. So now we know that if we want to edit this, we just go back up to the cell we want. And how would you do that? You just move up with your cursor or down. Is that all right? So then from here, what I want to do is just do some analysis here. So data and statistics. So here's the, the data that I'm looking at currently. And there are tons of ways to look at this data. So let me show you two or three. Let me have one second. hope you don't mind I spent a second I went back and put in better data I didn't want to waste all your time with that from there I just went to menu and menu brought me here and what you want to do is go to data and I just want to show you this this is just quick graph and you can choose how you want to graph this so here's a graph of this thing if we go back to menu plot type we can do it any way we want we so we can take this data and we can replot it so here is our, um, here's our box and whiskers. If I put in the calcium data over here, I did go back and put in the correct data, but if I went back and put in the calcium data here, then we could go through and take a, a closer look. Here we can find the, the lower extreme. We can find an outlier. It even shows us as an outlier. We can find the upper extreme, and you can see this separation here. We can also find, we can also find the median here, and we can find Q1 median Q3 here. So this is actually really, really cool. And all I'm doing is moving this cursor around, but you can do it by moving around through here. All right. So I think this is really, really cool stuff. Go back to menu again and go to plot type. And if you don't like it that way, you can redo it. Now, this is not great data, frankly, to put in this way. 
I also want to remind you, this is huge, so if you're still listening, it's gonna, I'm going to make sure this pays off for you. Is you can go up here, grab this thing as a screen capture. You can go and title this, put as much text in here as you want. Title this, screen capture it, and then hook your USB to your computer and send this data over to a, uh, a Word document, and you're going to look pretty damn smart. So, look, I hope this was helpful. This was just supposed to be the basics. So I hope that it provided you that, okay? If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And your comments are always welcome.